Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video. Hello, Donna. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. So today we're going to talk about similar words in English. You know, it's going to be about pronunciation or writing. Okay. So let's see the first pair of words: uh, brother and brother. Right? Yes. So it's not the same. Can you give me some example? And you know about these two words. Okay, so brother, I would say this is my brother, like my sister. Bother is someone getting on your nerves, like he bothers me. Okay, perfect. So brother is hermano. Bother is uh, molestar, molestar. He bothers me. Okay. So number two. We have two words. Can you say those two words, please? Because for me, it's gonna be hard because you sound know, similar. yeah, sound similar, and, you know. So we have teacher and we have t-shirt. Can you can you say it again, please? Yes. So teacher mm -hmm. and t-shirt. Okay, teacher and teacher. T-shirt. T-shirt. Yes, perfect. Teacher, t-shirt. Yes. Okay, so can you give us some examples or sentences? So the teacher will teach us in the classroom. The teacher is tall. Oh, he's tall. Okay. I wear a t-shirt. So we could say the t-shirt is large. Okay, perfect. So the word uh, teacher, teacher, what I'm saying? The clothing or teacher mm -hmm. teaches us. Perfect. Yes. I hope that you can notice the difference. You know, for us, um, you know, English is, is not our first language, so it's gonna be hard for us to try to notice the difference sometimes with these uh, similar words. But you know, I hope that you can learn and notice the difference. So the first one is teacher, and the other one. T-shirt. Okay, perfect. So, number three, we have two pair of words. We have country. Country. And we have county. County. Yes. So, country, county is uh, pretty much the same, you know, just is missing an R in one of the, the, the other one, you know, so country, county. Yes. Okay, give us some example, please. So, I live in the United States. That is my country. You can say the country I live in is Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. um, if you're using the word county, we have small areas in the United States inside of our states. So, I am from Pearl River County. Pearl River County. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, country, country is país. So country is país, but also when you are talking about country, you are talking about, I mean, for example, the countryside. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So country, país, but country also means uh, like como campo. We say campo in Spanish. Es un campo. Una zona, ustedes saben que no es una ciudad. It's not a city, it's a country. Okay? And county is condado. In Spanish, we say condado. All right, number four, we have where and were. Can you say again, please? We have where and were. Okay. So, where is like donde. So, you say, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Dominican Republic. That's yes. my country, Dominican Republic. Yes. Okay? And then were, we would say, we were eating lunch, we were going for a run. Okay, so where uh, is donde and where? That's the, that's the pronunciation of the second one? Where. Where. That is the past, right? El pasado del verbo to be. Okay? El pasado del verbo to be. O sea, where. Okay, number five. We have podcast and postcard, right? Yes, yes. 
Okay. These are interesting because podcast is something new and postcard is something old. <laughs> but for podcast, we could say you can listen to my podcast online. For postcard, I can send you a postcard from Ireland. Okay, perfect. So talking about that, you can follow us. And we have a podcast. I mean. In uh, SoundCloud, you can search for Teacher Martinez RD. So we have a podcast. So podcast es como una cápsula que de audio, una cápsula de audio donde contiene uh, una clase, una noticia o algo que tenga que ver con audio, clase. Eso es un podcast. Y la postcard es una tarjeta. Una tarjeta que usted manda de un lugar, yo estoy en Mississippi, por ejemplo, y allá yo busco una postal y la mando. Eso es postcard. Bien, vámonos con la número 6, number 6. All right, we have beer, like cerveza. Uh -huh. We have beer. You grow hair on your face. Okay, cerveza. How do you say cerveza? Cerveza is beer. Beer, beer. So B E E R beer. Yes. And this one here, I, I don't have. You know, I have just a little. I thing don't have here. one either. <laughs> so beard is like saying beer, but just adding a D to the end. Beard. Okay. So can we give them some examples? Yes. So I am drinking a beer, mm -hmm. or I am growing or shaving my beard. Okay. Perfect. So. Beard, cerveza, beard, with D sound at the end, that is barba, okay? No, barba. Okay, number seven. Yes. Number seven, we have lunch, mm -hmm. lunch, and the other one? Lunch. Sorry? Lunch. Or is it the same? Can you say again? So we have lunch. Lunch. And lunch. Lunch. See? Lunch. Lounge. Very good. Okay, perfect. Very oh. close. They're very close to each very, other. Very, very close. Yes. Okay. So I had chicken for lunch, but we can watch the rocket launch on television. Rocket launch? Yes. So television. launch is to go forth. Okay, so. perfect. So launch is el almuerzo. Eh, aquí en República Dominicana nosotros decimos comida, almuerzo. Y launch es cuando, por ejemplo, lanza un cohete, una proyección. Launch, eso es eh, lanzar, ¿verdad que sí? Ok, let's continue with number eight. So we have window and widow. Yes. What is the difference? So, window and widow. So, window has the N sound in it, and that is the glass opening in a house. Mm -hmm. So you can look through the window to see that it's raining. Widow means that you have lost your spouse, that your spouse has passed away. So you were previously married and they have passed away. So if my husband died, I am a widow. Okay, so window es ventana. Window, ventana. Y widow es una viuda. Okay, so widow is for female. So widower. Yes. That's the word, right? For yes. a man. Mm -hmm. So widow is for female and widower is for male. Okay, so number nine is 30 and thirsty. Yes. Yeah. So 30 is a number and thirsty is how I feel. So my birthday was yesterday and I turned 30. I'm not really 30. Doesn't it sound I hope right? I don't look <laughs> yet. <laughs> and then, thirsty. Can you please give me some water? I'm thirsty. Okay, so 30 is 30. It's a number. 30 or 30. And thirsty is sed, sediento. I am thirsty. Sediento. And the pronunciation here is very important. TH sounds like we That's say. Like C, uh, uh, Spanish C. Mm -hmm. Los españoles hablan con la Z. Mm -hmm. uh, people from Spain, they speak. Uh, they, ellos hablan con la Z 
Por favor, por favor, con la teta. So, thirsty. Thirsty. Yes, make sure Thirty. You use your tongue. Yeah, that's good. The pronunciation is very important. Thirty. Thirsty. Okay, and the last one is is a difficult one. Yes, <laughs> this is going to be the most challenging. Yeah. So we have life. Life. And we have live. Live. And we have live. Live. We can put the spelling up yeah. for them. Because yeah. So life, I love my life. Me too. Very good. <laughs> But if I'm talking about more than one life, the F changes to a V, and I have lives. That is the plural. So I love the lives of my children, if I have more than one. Okay. Then the next word is live. So I try to live according to God's word. Amen. And then the last one, It's spelled the same, but it has a different meaning. So a new thing is Facebook Live. That's a way to use it. You also can say you went to the concert live. Okay, perfect. So if you have more pair of word, uh, words like this, please uh, send a message or write down below this video. Or if you have a question, please uh, write down below this video. So this is it. Thank you so much and thank you for watching. Thank you, Dana.